the hybrid. I'll try to get this done real quick when the wind calmed down a little. I apologize. I know it's going to be so windy today. Here it is. Let's see if it holds up today. Last time I had it out, the hex extenders loosened up on me. Got about five minutes run time, and that was it. No video. So, we loctited the crap out of them. We'll see what happens today. Uh, this is my old chopper. Uh, same thing. It's on my same chassis. Custom made with a custom skid. Uh, it's been going strong for probably two years or so now. Uh, I love this truck. I just wanted to change it up a little bit. Kind of build like a little rock bouncer to run with my buddy's rift that you've seen in my videos. So I figured I got the other rig for straight rock crawling and we'll build this one up to just have some fun with like a little three-in-one basher crawler rock bouncer we'll do it all so it's got rift tires on it for now i need to get some good wheels and uh some good pro line tires probably out there on there not sure exactly what for tires but i just uh took a wraith cage and like this would be the uh, right side so they're just vice versa and kind of flipped around and everything bolts into the cage of the capra and get under the hood there for the battery and the on and off switch um, I had to add that little fin there I don't know what to do yet I had to add that for my little homemade sway bars that I kind of did up here. I don't know how well it's going to hold up, but we're going to find out. I just went through the axles, so it's got a nut on the other side there. So I, I need to probably put a metal rod through here. That's just a plastic one I had. It's really strong, but we'll see how it holds up. If it breaks, it breaks. So I'll get a nice aluminum one or steel one put in there. These are steel rods that I had made. Just some little L brackets. And it all just kind of hinges with the truck. You can't, I can't really do it right here. This thing rolls really easy and I'll fall off this big rod. So. But we're going to see it run today. Hopefully it holds up. Uh, we'll show you some more because I'm sure I forgot some stuff about it. So maybe I'll just talk about it here in the video for now. Let's get it. Now let's just hit something basic here. Be sure everything's working okay. It's articulating just fine. I got that good because that angle I couldn't see anything. I apologize. Yeah. Put those stabilizer bars to the test and sway bars. Ooh. I got a feeling they're going to break. At the axle, I think. We're gonna, I don't know. We're going to see. So, thank God I got this controller here because if I couldn't control this, having the 50, 75, and 100, I'd probably be screwed out here on the rocks with this build because this thing is super fast. This thing is super fast. Which hopefully, we will get to see that. Brake working okay. Let's see if we can come down off of this. Nice. And I don't want to venture too far without my bag. 
Let's see if we can get up this real quick. And I did flip it in 100%. I I need a little bit of power for this. get some nice tires on here this thing's gonna be an animal and some wheels get some nice uh trio wheels or something on there all right we gotta hook that drag brake up just a little bit more yes i do okay go big truck Need to put a little bit of money into it. Moolah is hard to come by right now. But, let's see. We can get it. That looks nice. Oh, the camera does not do it justice. This is not a typical crawler line, folks. This is a bouncer line, for sure. You can crawl up that, you have a beast of a crawler. But this is a three in one. Let's see what happens. The 2200 mile, like I thought, wasn't gonna cut it. We got about 45 minutes of run time. It's decent for that, I guess, for this build. So I had to mod a 5000 mile battery in. See it in there on the side, fit perfectly. And that should help. This is stabilizer bar, sway bar. You're doing pretty good. Yep, let's get it. Tough guy. Okay. Okay. Blocking out that capper transmission that keeps doing that to me. I thought this time I did a good job. Man, I thought. 